Welcome to the visitor center of the virtual cargo cap test track. Accompany us on a trip through the test installation. In 1998, work was started by an interdisciplinary research team at the Ruhr University Bochum, under the direction of Professor Stein, with the aim of finding new ways of transporting goods. The idea I hit on the idea of transporting goods through underground pipelines after experiencing frequent difficulties in keeping dates and bypassing traffic jams. After two years of intensive research and development work, the Bochum research team unveiled the cargo cap concept. The importance of cargo cap is that it can contribute greatly to relieving traffic congestion on the roads by moving the transport of goods along underground pipelines. By means of the widely branched underground transportation network, the intelligent caps supply shopping centers, industrial areas, and logistics parks with the required wares and goods quickly and reliably. Let us go into the heart of the installation. All the activities in the transportation pipelines and stations are controlled from this control center. This is where all the information from the test track comes together. The means for recording measurement values and the evaluation of the test results was designed and implemented by interdisciplinary research teams. Except for the station control center, the test track is installed completely underground over an area of 500 by 250 meters. The total length of the transportation pipeline is approximately 3,000 meters. The transfer from the outer to the inner track ring is made possible by four switch constructions. Besides straight elements and curved sections with different radii, rising and falling gradient sections were purposely included in the track. In the separate test region for emergency situations, possible risk situations are simulated and correspondingly suitable emergency case concepts are developed. In defined measurement regions, powerful and robust sensors measure the stresses and vibrations created in the ground by the passing of the caps. The bearing and guidance components are implemented in the transportation pipeline by means of a modified rail technology. Commercially available and cheap three-phase motors drive the axles. Let us now watch the cargo caps on their journey over the test track. The transport units move with a speed of 10 meters per second. Each cap is equipped with powerful electronics in order to communicate with the other caps and the control center. The virtual formations consist of a maximum of 10 transport units, which maintain a spacing of 2 meters from each other. At branch connections, individual caps can separate from the formation at constant speed. In doing so, the transport unit operates the branching mechanism by itself when it has reached its target station. Besides the technical process details, 
Also, the effects of rising and falling gradients on the driving dynamics and energy balance are investigated on the test track. For insertion into the flow, the transport unit looks for a sufficiently large gap, accelerates, and connects to the members of the formation in front of it. The weight force of the caps is transferred from the bearing rails into the transportation pipeline. In order to prevent tipping in particularly tight curves, the bearing rails are arranged raised in accordance with the centrifugal force acting on the transport unit. All the necessary work of installation, servicing and repair to the transport units are carried out in the hull. In the planning, construction and operation of this test track, scientists in various disciplines work in close cooperation with experienced technicians from industry. The installation is conceived as a long-term interdisciplinary and useful installation in which all the changes and technical advances that arise in the use of cargo cap can be implemented, tested, and optimized. Only by consistent further development can cargo cap become and remain a technically mature and economically feasible fifth transport alternative. <laughs>